Howdy howdy, in today's video we're going to be doing some sand casting. I'll show you how I turn a 3D print into solid silver. We'll be making a special custom piece for a fellow YouTuber, Silver Coin Stacker. So let's get into it. As you can see here, this is the STL file, this is what I designed. Silver Coin Stacker contacted me and asked me if I could do a channel bar for him with a YouTube symbol and his channel name. So there we have it, as you can see all done and I'm quite happy with it, it's come out nicely as you can see, nice nice crisp lettering, nice and deep and the logos come out cool. So now what we need to do is actually get it printed out, so we'll cross, put, put it across the Cura. There you go, we're in Cura now and as you can see we're just getting it set up to get it sliced. Now what that actually means is basically this program, Cura, will get it prepared so it can be sent to the 3D printer. Now I don't need to resize this one because I've already done it, the design to the size that we want. So all I need to do is flip it up on its end because I want to print it on its end because just get a bit more detail that way with my printer. So what we'll do now, we'll actually slice it now and what, what that means is it just cuts it into slices and it just means each pass of the print head just does another layer. So slices are basically layers and that's what it's doing now, it's just calculating. There we go, there we have it, an hour 37. So as you can see here is some the red parts of the bar and then light blue pieces are the actual supports. Now what that is, they're just printed in front of the bar to help hold up the lettering and the logo. So as you can see, when it rises up, it just holds everything in place and it's got the, the printer's got something to print on top. And there's a nozzle there. As you can see, if I flip it up for you and you look down there, you see it's doing the top of the support there. And then it'll go across and do the top of the bars. So what I'll do, we'll get that printed out now and then we'll get over to the pouring shed. So here's a 3D print, as you can see, it come out really cool. I just had to put a little bit of sand in it, I'll give it a push in to some sand just to do a test impression. And I just had a little bit of breakage on some of the letters, so I just had to fill a little bit in with sand just to make sure we get a nice impression when we actually do it. So it's going to be a flask pour, a two part flask. So the first job is to get some sand in this bottom part of the flask and get it filled up with sand and then we'll make the impression. Oh and I'm just putting the tape over here just because obviously that's the hole where I pour through and I just put some tape on just so the sand doesn't basically squidge out the hole when I push it down. So I'm just sieving some in to get some fine stuff in at the bottom and then we'll yeah we'll lamp it all in and make the impression. So here we are, we're ready to do the impression now. 
So I'm just putting a bit of corn flour on. You can use talcum powder, just just some some powder. Just this will just help with the parting. So when the two pieces of the sand comes together, they they come away nicely, and also it let lets me get the 3D print out. So I'm just getting him in position. Give it a, just. I'm not pushing too hard here. Just just firm enough so it stays in. I want to get it about halfway down, as you can see there. See there? Yeah, I'm about halfway in, and then we'll get half in one side of the mold and half in the other side of the flask so that's what we'll do now I'll just give it a last little push and then we'll get the top half of the flask and we'll you know basically fill it up and get it ready to get poured Now, this is the moment of truth as it works as it come out oh sometimes a bit tricky to get open there we go and look at that bad boy it's come out cool as you can see look at that you can see the logo silver coin stacker so looking good so now what we need to do is actually just cut for the sprue now what they call the sprue and basically all the sprue is it's the pouring hole i like to call it the pouring, pouring hole but i think the technical terms are sprue as you can see, I'm just making it there. This is where the hot metal, the, the silver's going to flow through. And we just, just, just make you just need it big enough for it to all go through at a nice pace. I'd just like to thank the Silver Coin Stacker for asking, for contacting me, to asking me to make this because it has been a pleasure. It's been a really cool to do the whole design from scratch and do it. So, 
Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. You should get your bar soon. I know it's took me a bit longer than <laughs> expected, but we've got there. So, right then, let's get the other side of the sprue done. So there we go, the moulds go out nicely. So now all we've got left to do now is do some little vent lines. Now this just lets a bit of steam escape, just helps. So I just get the silver punk screw here, and you can see, just do some little lines coming out. There you go, all the way around. I just do them all the way around, and that just helps with the pour. So the next job, we get it all fitted together, and get some silver melted. Welcome everyone on my channel Silvercoin Stacker and today we got some mail comes from 365 days of silver. Let's get to it. Ooh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. Much appreciate. It's my first 
cheap, which I'm very appreciate. It's, it's very stuck. Yeah, we're gonna open later. I wanna show you. It looks amazing. It's very very kind from your sides, and it's definitely going on my display. So thank you very much for the post, and hopefully. Soon I'm gonna get some more videos, which I'm gonna share with you guys. Thank you very much again, and see you next time. Bye. As you can see, I've done all the clean up there. I've sanded it all up, and it looks looks the business now. But what we need to do is just give it a quick ultrasonic bath. As you can see, there it is, top left hand corner. It's in with a few other bits, but yeah, we'll give it an ultrasonic bath, probably for about 20 minutes on a very high heat. That's boiling water in there. With a little bit of washing up liquid, and we'll give it 20 minutes, get it all cleaned up, and then we'll get onto the toning. If you've enjoyed this sand casting video, don't forget to check this one out up here. This one's an absolute buster.